Okay, so let's solve this problem. So to find the domain, the x-intercept, the y-intercept, the vertical asymptote, and the horizontal asymptote of irrational functions, then from this given, so to find the domain, so first, equate the denominator to 0, then solve for x. So from this denominator, x plus 5 equate to 0, then to solve for x, transpose this positive 5, so x equals negative 5. So if x equals negative 5, this denominator becomes 0, and if the denominator is equal to 0, the whole function becomes undefined. So therefore, the domain of this function, so we have x, element of real numbers such that x not equal to negative 5. Then for the x-intercept, so to solve for the x-intercept, we let y equals to 0. So this f of x, the same as y, so equals to 0. So we have 0 equals x squared minus 7x plus 10, then over x plus 5. Then do cross multiplication, so we have x squared minus 7x plus 10, then equals this equation becomes 0. Then since we have this quadratic equation, so we can solve for x by factoring. So for x squared, that's x and x, and for this positive 10, that's 5 times 2. Then since the middle term is negative, so all negative. Then to solve for x, equate these factors to 0. So we have x minus 5 equals 0. And x minus 2 equals 0. Then x equals transpose this negative 5. That's positive 5. Then x equals transpose this negative 2, that's positive 2. So therefore, the coordinates of x-intercept, so x equals 5, if y equals 0, and x equals 2, if y equals 0. So these are the coordinates of x-intercept. Then for the y-intercept, so we let x equals to 0. So from this given, so we have y, then equals, so x equals 0, then 7 times 0, plus 10, then over, so x is 0, then plus 5. So we have y, then equals, so this one is 10 over 5, so y equals positive 2. So the coordinate for this y-intercept, so if x equals 0, y equals positive 2. Then for this vertical asymptote, so since we equate the denominator to 0, then solve for x, the same with this domain, and we have this x equals negative 5. So therefore, the vertical asymptote is x equals negative 5. Then the last one, the horizontal asymptote. So using these different conditions, that if the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, then y equals 0. The degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator, then that's the ratio of the numerical coefficient. And if the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator, then there is no horizontal asymptote. So from this given, 
So the degree of the numerator is equal to 2 and the degree of the denominator is equal to 1 since the degree of this numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator because that's equal to 1. So therefore, there is no horizontal asymptote. Then for this given, so first, to find the domain, so equate this denominator to 0, so we have 2x minus 3 equals 0, then to solve for x, so transpose, so that's 2x equals positive 3. Then divide both sides by 2, so therefore x equals 3 over 2. So therefore the domain of this function, so x, element of real numbers such that x not equal to positive 3 over 2. Then for the x intercept, so we let y equals to 0, so this becomes 0 equals 3x plus 4, then over 2x minus 3, then do cross multiplication, so this becomes 3x plus 4, then equals 0, then to solve for x, so we have 3x, so transpose this positive 4, that becomes negative 4, then divide by 3, so x equals negative 4 over 3. So therefore, the coordinate of this x-intercept, so x equals negative 4 over 3, if y is equal to 0. Then for the y-intercept, so we let x equals to 0, so from this given, so we have y then equals 3 times 0, then plus 4, then over, 2 times 0, then minus 3, so therefore y equals negative 4 over 3. So the coordinate now for this y-intercept, so if x equals 0, y is negative 4 over 3. Then for the vertical asymptote, so from the domain, so we have this x equals positive 3 over 2, so x equals positive 3 over 2. Then for this horizontal asymptote, so from the degree of the numerator that's equal to 1, the degree of this denominator that's equal to 1, since the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator, then the horizontal asymptote is just the ratio of this numerical coefficient. So y is equal to positive 3 over 2. Then for this given, so to find the domain, so again, equate this denominator to 0. So for x plus 6 equals 0, then transpose this positive 6, so that becomes negative 6, then divide both sides by 4, so x equals, so this 6 over 4, that's negative 3 over 2. So therefore, the domain, so x, element of real numbers such that x not equal to negative 3 over 2. Then, to find the x-intercept, so we let y equals to 0, 
So we have 0 then equals 5 over 4x plus 6 then cross multiply so this becomes 5 then equals 0 so since there is no variable left so therefore there is no x intercept then for the y intercept so we let x equal to 0. So we have y then equals 5 over 4 times 0 then plus 6. So y equals 5 over 6. So therefore the coordinate of the y intercept if x equals 0, y equals positive 5 over 6. Then for the vertical asymptote from the domain, so x equals negative 3 over 2. And for the horizontal asymptote, so from this given, the degree of the numerator is 0. And the degree of the denominator is 1. So since the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, so the horizontal asymptote y equals 0.